Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's This Is How I Glyph, a series where we review scripts that have been written to automate specific tasks in PointWise or the entire meshing process. In this video, we're taking a look at a script that was written to compute the turning angle for grid points along connectors. So you can download this script by visiting github.com forward slash pointwise forward slash turning angle calculator. And once here, you can click this button that says clone or download and then download the zip archive that contain the contents of this uh, script that contains the readme file, any images, and sometimes example files depending on the script that you're looking to download. Scrolling down, we can see an image. You notice that there is a user interface associated with this script, which we'll be going over in this video, and then a readme file that basically describes the two modes of operation for this particular script. So with that, why don't we bring up the script and take a look. So here's the script at the top. You'll notice that there is a brief description. And I did want to mention that our summer intern on the sales and marketing team, Rajib Roy, a PhD candidate at the University of Wyoming, wrote this script in his first few weeks here as an intern. And there's a user interface associated with this script um, that he, he put together. And there are a number of different procs. But the one proc that I wanted to point out that he wrote was this one called get angle. This is really the heart of the script. It takes three points and computes the turning angle. And basically this procedure gets called multiple times depending on the mode of selection that you're in. And we'll, we'll go through that when we actually run through the script. The other thing I did wanna mention and uh, point out was that Rajib did a really good job of kind of proceduralizing the script. So each set of tasks is sort of encapsulated in a nice procedure and so that he can call it multiple times again depending on the mode that the user is that the user is in when they're running the script so with that i'm going to go ahead and pull up pointwise and we'll run the script and show you how it works so here we are in pointwise and i'm going to go ahead and execute the script to do that i'll go to script execute pick turning angle calculator and click open and you'll notice that a user interface pops up front and center. And there are two modes of operation. There's select point and select connector. Now, both modes can be entered by just clicking on the button, or you can use the hotkey P or C to quickly jump into that mode. So I'm going to start by selecting a point. So I'll click on that button. Now, by default, this option will be unchecked, show connector grid point. So you'll see something like this. So if you wanted to pick an interior point along a connector, you'll need to toggle this option on, and then you can see all of the grid points for the given connectors. And what you can do is you can actually just go ahead and interactively pick grid points, and it's returning the turning angle across that grid point down here in the messages window. And so the really nice thing about this is that, for example, this is the leading edge of a wing. We can go ahead and sample each of these points and get their turning angles to ensure that we've picked a spacing that achieves a desired turning angle, say let's like less than 10 degrees or something like that. Now, if you pick a node or basically a point that's shared by multiple connectors, it's going to ask you to select a connector pair, basically two connectors that you want to compute the turning angle across. So I can go ahead and interactively select two connectors, click done, and it'll return that turning angle for me. Again, if I pick this point, it's going to highlight my available connectors, and I can go ahead and pick the two connectors, and again, it'll return the turning angle across those two connectors. Now the other mode of operation is select connector. So when I interrupted that operation, the GUI popped back up and I can click on select connectors. So when I do that, now it's prompting me to select a connector or multiple connectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these two connectors and click done. And when you do that, it's gonna return the number of points on the connector and the minimum and maximum turning angle for that connector, but not only that, it's going to render the location of those min and max values. So here you can see some poles were created, red poles were created at the location of the maximum turning angle, and additional poles are created at the minimum turning angle, which are near the trailing edge of these connectors. So this is really nice if you quickly want to just grab a bunch of connectors and retrieve their min and max turning angle values. Once you're done, you can click the done button or hit the enter key to exit the script. So that's basically how the script works. Again, it's, it's really simple. You, you pick points or you select connectors and you get the min and max turning angles or a turning angle for a given point. 
If you like this video, please be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which I'll link in the description.